In this video, we're going to be working on a MSI GE70 from 2012. The system is running really slow. It turns out that it was upgraded from Win7 to Win10, and I think that's probably the culprit. We look at here the specs, and uh, it's a decent machine for its time. Uh, so I don't think that's the problem. So we're going to try to do a recovery. See if we can get the original Win7 off the system and then update it. So for that, we're going to need to plug in the laptop so it has constant power. You're going to need an external storage device to bring in over at least one program. And you're also going to need an internet connection so that we can update Win7 to the latest security updates. And I like having a mouse, but that's a personal preference. After powering down the computer, we're going to start it up and then hit the F3 key several times and that'll get you run recovery and Windows will start up and it will take you to the MSI recovery manager. And what you want to do is you want to launch this manager and follow the steps and what it will do is it will completely wipe the C drive and reinstall the original operating system that the computer came with. Once that is done, the computer will start up again and it will be in its native Win7 with all the bloatware that came with it and everything else. The problem is it is exactly as it was in 2012, so we need to update it. We see Windows 7's Home Premium, and it takes us to the desktop as it looked back in 2012. So this is where the fun now begins. First thing we're going to do is go over to the Start menu, select Control Panel, select Systems and Security, Action Center, and then go down to the lower left hand side of that same panel and you'll see Windows Updates. Eventually you'll see that you can download and install updates for your computer. Initially this will be in the hundreds and you'll up download and install everything it needs to do. It'll probably restart several times and it'll take upwards of an hour to do this. But eventually, you'll get to the point where it won't have any more updates to do. This is the second time that I'm searching for updates. And I'm telling the system to restart. But if I wasn't around, it would automatically restart on its own. After configuring, the system will restart. And once again, I will go to Start, Control Panel, System and Security. Action Center, and then down to Windows Update. And we see that there are no important updates available. There's some optional ones, but I don't need those, so I'm just going to skip over that. So we'll just cancel and close out of this. Now that the operating system is up to date, we're going to bring in piece of software called Macrum Reflect. It's just a backup program. You can use whatever backup program you like. This is just one that happens to be free and works pretty well. So I'm going to install this off the external drive. And the reason I'm going off the external drive is I'm not going out on the internet except for going to the Windows, uh, the Microsoft servers to get those updates. So you answer all the questions that you're being prompt to by the program here to get it installed. And once installation is complete, you restart the computer and you'll see the Macrum reflect on your desktop. Double click it, tell Windows it's okay, you want to run that program. You don't need to update the program, so you can cancel the internet update for that. And then you go through the installation process. It will search your drive and prompt you again for a new update. 
and tell it no, it's fine, this version is completely satisfactory for what we're doing. And now you're going to go to the backup menu and tell it that you want to make a image. You'll get prompt for the wizard. You'll select everything because it's just the operating system. There's no data on this since it's completely formatted the drive. And now we're going to tell it where we want to create this image. And in my case, I'm going to go back to that external drive and save it there. So we'll point to it. And we'll create a folder, name it appropriately. And so should you ever need to recover again, of course, you can go back to the computer and do the recovery from there. Or you can just go to this image and it'll save you all the time of updating Win 7 to at least 2017. The process should take about 10 or so minutes because, again, there isn't that much on this computer except for the operating system. And then when you're done, you should probably create a rescue disk. We're not going to go through that, but it's a simple procedure of just selecting the Linux and following the steps in the wizard and then you'll have a brand new recovered MSS G70 operating system that's updated from the original 2012 to at least 2017. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment. Thank you for watching.